So unfortunately I decided to make this video after I made the repair. I didn't really consider that it might be something other people might need to know. So I'm gonna use a little speaker that's just here on the bench to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So if you have a subwoofer where uh, it appears that it might have been blown or overpowered or something because it's not playing and it turns out when you push on the speaker a bit on the cone, it starts playing. Most likely that's due to the tinsel leads, which are the leads that run from the spider to the connections on the speaker itself. So if you look here, let's see, that a screwdriver. If you look here are the two leads, and this goes for dual voice coil speakers as well. These two leads here that run from the spider to the connection, what can happen is that that solder connection right here at the leads can break and it can be really hard to see that there's actually something wrong there if you don't use like a loop or a magnifying glass to look. But what you can do is set a meter for continuity, put it across the leads, and if you don't get anything when it's just sitting still, then you know it's an open condition. If you press on the speaker cone and it starts to buzz, then you know that's most likely the issue. Or if you kind of manipulate the tensile leads at the connection and it starts to you know, intermittently buzz, then you know that you have a broken solder connection there. So all you need to really do is either, depending on the condition of the brake, you can just reflow the solder by heating up that joint. You know, grab a pair of needle noses or something like that and hold the tensile lead while you reflow the solder, maybe add some new solder to it. If you have to, then you can uh, basically hold on to the tensile lead if it's the type that's covered with insulation and strip back a little bit of it. Uh, depending on the speaker type, it won't have insulation. Most typically don't. So what you can do is just go ahead and reflow it and solder it back up while you have a meter connected across the coil and you'll hear it start buzzing once you've made a good connection. So real simple fix, just something for you guys to check out before you just toss the speaker in the, gra in the garbage because I just fixed this 20 year old Eclipse. It's a nice 12 inch in a sealed single enclosure sound quality subwoofer that I thought was broken and sitting in my parents' basement for like the last 20 years. And it turns out that I discovered a couple weeks ago that it plays when you press on it or when it's at high volume. I finally took the time to go ahead and pop it out. And it turns out that's exactly what the problem was. One of the two voice coils had a uh, bad connection at the terminal. And I was able to determine that just by manipulating the, the wire under here itself. And it would beep, beep, beep intermittently. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe.